Hey, it's Mike over at FishYourAssOff.com and today what we're talking about is snook fishing in the mangroves. More specifically, snook fishing in the roots of the red mangrove tree during the higher parts of tide. So, <laughs> so very specific we're going here today, kind of laser focused. It is one of the best places to catch snook is right in those mangroves, right at the, in the roots of them, they're in the higher parts of the tide. Those uh, snook will just cruise in and out of those little tidal creeks or whatever it is that's lined with mangroves and they're just gonna hug those roots and go inside the roots because they're looking for crabs and shrimp and little fish that are all taking refuge up in those roots. They're safe from like an osprey or something and they're in there hunting and eating too. So if a dolphin or a shark who wants to eat that snook, well, they can just go on the roots and hide. So they really, really like the roots of the red mangrove tree. So it's a great place to target them. And we're going to talk about the different live baits and lures that you can use to go ahead and do that. So let's just kind of check it out. All right. So here's my artistic rendition of the red mangrove tree and its roots. If you know, you know what I'm talking about if you're in South uh, Central Florida. Uh, it's all about these mangrove roots. And here's the water level at the high tide. And here's all the snook that are inside there uh, cruising these roots during the higher parts of the tide. There's also going to be redfish and flounder and mangrove snapper and sheep's head in there too. So there's plenty of different fish that act the same way looking for food during the uh, higher parts of the tide but it's definitely a high tide scenario that you're gonna to wanna to fish, or higher. Probably the top, top three uh, hours of the tide. So from mid tide up to high, from high tide back to mid. Here's the key, bottom line. You have got to get your bait or lure within about 24 inches of, your, of the roots. They are really in there. Sure, sometimes they're three, four feet away from it, but for the most part, they cruise right in there, right along it. So if you can find a scenario that is like this, so say you got a bunch of, bunch of mangrove trees like this, and there's a little dip in there, you know, a lot of times that's a great place to find them too. Any kind of abnormality in the actual line of the mangroves, a point or any sort of cove, another great spot. You can actually be tucked up in there a little bit more. Uh, so there's just a lot of different ways, but the bottom line is you've got to get close to the mangroves. So you're gonna lose a lot of lures. Some great lures. Swim baits are great lures. You pitch something like this up in there, it's a paddle tail, you're gonna catch snooker through there. Any of these, this is another, it's a smaller, it's a three inch DOA cow, huh? it's the back, DOA cow. These uh, brown ones work great in uh, dirty water and I like a lighter one when the water is clean. And this is something you would couple with an eighth ounce jig head, maybe a quarter ounce jig head, kind of skip it up in there, bounce the bottom with it just like that, just like that. You can pitch a top water if you can get a, a, a parallel cast to them and just work, work something on top as long as the water's shallow. You know, so say within three feet deep and within two feet of the actual, uh, of the actual mangrove roots themselves. I mean, that's money. That's how you have to fish these. If you're pitching a live bait, same deal. You know, here they are in here. You know, I love to sink a live bait so I'll use something like this with a lighter bait. So that's just a one ounce egg sinker. Just a hook, put the sinker on there before you put the hook on, add your bait. It's gonna keep the fish in that area and hopefully it won't wrap itself around your line. It'll just keep them fighting and swimming. And if you tail hook them, they'll kind of be on top of the water like this, away from it. I mean, it's a great way in shallow water scenarios like this to get those snook to bite, those real finicky snook. Another great thing, it's a dead bait. You will catch some huge snook on dead bait up against the mangroves. 
take a mullet, take its head, and pitch it up there. Now the key with me is I got a lot of catfish. I don't want to catch catfish. So the key is to have a bait big enough where those catfish can't eat it. So they'll come over there and try and they can't eat it, but it'll attract attention. And then the big snook will come over, big redfish too. And they'll gobble up that mullet head. I'm telling you, these are great ways to fish the mangroves, but you want water that's maybe three feet deep? Yeah, four feet tops, probably three. And within two feet or so of the roots, and I'm telling you, you're gonna catch a lot of snook. You skip, you skip something up in there. Maybe it's even a jerk bait. You rig a jerk bait weedless. This is a five and a half inch uh, DOA cow jerk bait. You rig that thing weedless, pitch it in there, bounce it on the bottom just like that. These are all excellent, excellent baits and lures to catch those snook during the higher parts of the tide right at the mangroves. I'm telling you, give it a try next time you're out there. You'll catch a lot more. You will catch a lot more because they're cruising the whole time when that tide gets to the higher levels. I think that's it. Uh, well, you probably want to go to our website too, fisheryhouseoff.com. Pro tips page. That's what you want to look at. There's a hundred and some articles all about catching all these fish. Snook, tarpon, redfish, trout, flounder, whatever. It's there. So go ahead and check it out. I think that's it for today. So until next time, we'll see you then. All right. Bye-bye.